everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about backtracking algorithm so this is going to be a very short and simple video where i will explain you the general method of backtracking algorithm in the subject of design and analysis of algorithms okay very simple and very short video so from the next coming videos onwards we will be learning about the applications of backtracking okay so first what is backtracking it is a problem solving technique like divide and conquer we have divide and conquer greedy method dynamic programming so backtracking so all these are branch and bound all these are different problem solving methods in algorithms okay so among one of them is backtracking and this is used mainly to solve recursive problems that means the uh, the part of the program or the part of the algorithm that happens repeatedly so it is mainly used to solve those kind of recursive problems and with the help of backtracking you will be getting multiple solutions you will not get a single solution so this is not an optimization problem optimization problem means what you will get one best solution okay but in case of backtracking you will be getting multiple solutions and from that multiple solutions you have to pick one optimal solution okay got it next so going back and coming again until the condition is satisfied that is what happens in the case of backtracking you go back you come forward you go back you come forward like that you will be moving until and unless you get the solution for your problem so let us see the backtracking with an example so this is very simple example guys so see we are starting from s and we are supposed to go till g okay from s to g is our path okay so first you went from s to a and from a to b and you go from b if you go here you are having a dead end okay so you are not getting your destination node instead of that you got a dead end so what you will do you will come back so do you have any node from b no so you are going back again okay so yeah c from a do you have any node yeah you have c so you are going to c from here you reached back to a right from dead end you came back to b and from b you are coming back to a okay and from a you are coming to c and from c you are coming to the dead end again so since you are not reaching your destination node what you will do you will go back again that is what backtracking is okay again from c to a you have as from c do you have any sub paths no so you are going back to a okay from a do you have any sub paths you have b and you have c both of them are already covered so you will come back to s now like that you will go back and front you will go back and front until you find your destination so from s what is the next path you have to d so you came from s to d and from d you have e and from e again you got the dead end so what you will do again you will come back okay so e is your source is e is your destination no so you are going back again is d your destination no so from d do you have any sub paths yes you have the sub path like this so what you will do you will go in come in this path so from d to f you will come again from f to dead end so your destination is not dead end right so you will come back again from f do you have any sub node yes you have g so you will come some from f you will come to g and from g you will go to where you will go to the dead end okay but see here sorry this is not dead end here this is a success node okay so from f here this is dead end so from dead end you went back to f and from f you have a sub node g so yeah you came to g and from there you came to the success node so you have reached your destination okay so at this point you can stop your backtracking so what you are doing first from s to you are going to a a to b b to dead end since dead end is not your destination you are coming back uh, until which point you will come back until you find a sub node you will come back if you are not having any sub node you will go back to the starting node again okay this is how backtracking works 
got it guys very simple until and unless you get your destination you will be trying 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 okay so this is about backtracking so we have three applications for backtracking we have n queens we have sum of subsets and we have graph coloring not only these three there are some more as well but according to jntu h syllabus we have only these three so i will be explaining about these three algorithms in the next coming videos okay that's all about this video thanks for watching the video till the end if you're still having any doubts let me know in the comment section and yeah that's all let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic